bows. Have I ever done a bows product on this channel? I, I bought this one. I bought it. This is the most popular speaker in the computer speaker section on Amazon. Let me show you. Where's the room? Where's the, the mouse? Give me the mouse. Chainsaw fucking, I don't know. She's from something, but I don't recognize. But Chainsaw, all right, we're going to talk about these. These are the... These are the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 Multimedia Speaker for a PC, which rhymes and is probably why they have 16,299 ratings, four and a half stars, a thousand questions answered, Amazon's choice. Oh my God, it's amazing, $150, but what the fuck, the OS 10s exist. Those, the Swan OS 10s, they're back in stock, by the way. This is really a video to tell you the OS 10s are back in stock. And But here, to complain and tell a couple stories about the Bose Companion, because I had a set of these way back in the day, like early, mid-2000s, and you know what? They're fucking pretty good. I, I'm, I'm free to admit that I had a set of Bose speakers that looked almost identical to this, and they were pretty good. The problem is, these are not that good. Um... They're not as bad as I thought they were going to be, considering... Here, I had to yank the front off. Uh, using my super strength. Uh, you see that? That's a two-inch speaker. Where's the tweeter, you ask? <laughs> There's the tweeter also. It's just a two-inch speaker. Rear-ported. The set I had... I'm going to describe the set I had. Because this is a set I had wasn't made out of, like, shitty plastic. It was, like, wood. It was thick. It had a slot port in the front. It was front ported. And it had a metal grill covering the still only single two inch driver. But it was built better. It had like the wire wasn't like this weird attached thing. It had, it was a nice speaker set. And I figured maybe Bose was still making something that good. I don't know if my parents still have that in their apartment. Like the original Bose, the cats peed on it or something. But um, I bought this and I could tell you for a fucking fact, for $150, you do not fucking buy that. <laughs> you spend $164, you buy this with the carpet and the Bluetooth. There's not even Bluetooth in these. All right. I got them and I unboxed them and I'm expecting to have like, you know, a pretty modern experience. You know, maybe a remote control. Remote control. Better bass, better soundstage, better imaging, better looks, better speaker. It's $15 more. It wasn't even that much more when it was originally out, but you know, now it's just, they're so out of stock. I'm just fucking infuriated that Bose spends all their money on literally 70% I think of what they make gross they put back into advertising that says they're the best. That's why everyone knows Bose. That's why my mother, my fucking elderly mother knows, oh, did you get nice speakers? Are they Bose? Because they're on the fucking TV and in the magazines and in the newspapers. That's how Beats did it. That's how Bose does it. That's how shitty companies do it. They spend all their money to tell you that they're the best so that just everyone knows it. Because you spend $700 million on advertising to say Bose is the best. So obviously Bose is the best because I saw it in a magazine. Well, Swan's over here making fucking monster products. They're all made in China, so it doesn't really matter like, oh, buy Bose because it was American. It's not. It's all China now. So these, all right, I'm going to give these a fair shake. They are way better than I thought they would be, but... Uh, I'm still on fucking not shuffle. I need to unshuffle this. Or I need to shuffle it, because I love as much as I love Gorillas. And Cracker Island, by the way, great album. I didn't I didn't when I came back, I was a little sure. For someone who's never heard a good speaker, these are good speakers. That little two-inch driver, and but here's the thing. Like they say it's for PC, and it kind of has to be. No remote control. Volume knob in the front, literally an analog volume knob where the Swan has literally a touch screen or a remote. So analog volume knob and a headphone out in the front, which I haven't even tested. I'm not gonna. It'll be a headphone out. The original one, because here's the thing, the back of this unit, and I've got a whole bunch of shit going on. So you get weirdly a power looking plug to plug in that speaker. And it says two left speaker two left speakers so these are backwards so that one says to right speaker 
Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So I have them backwards. Well, that's fine because I have the plug over here. Plug that in. Power's here. It's a power brick that's down there. And then you get two 3.5 millimeters. An aux in and a from computer in. And it doesn't matter which one you plug into because they're both active. And here's the uh, 3.5 millimeter cable it comes with, which shows arrows. Like it shows the little in out thing. I put that there just to show you guys. Let's unpause it again. Back, actually, we can reverse the. Like, there's no low end at all. I know we're not in a perfect position. Like, if this was truly in a desk, there'd be a wall, and you'd have that port within like a foot of that wall, and you'd have a little more low end. But if we're going for price to performance, Swan OS 10s, or even like an edifier, any edifier set, fill in a number just randomly throw, pick it out of a tube, we will do low end in this space, right where these are. In fact, I'm tempted to just hook the fucking OS 10s up, but then I'd be listening to them all night. So we, we already have no, no low end. But they're surprisingly clear for a speaker that does not have a tweeter in it. That's the thing, it's like this, this is a two inch full range driver. In a box that's a pretty, complicated looking box i'm sure they've done some weird bose shit I'm trying to look into this hole i have my bore scope camera i should go get it no it's just a tube that ends right there i thought it'd be fucking fancy and maybe it's like this tube goes in and around it's got a it's just this driver here tube ends there pray the old one was so nice the metal grill, the looks, it was a completely flat front. It had probably had more of a rake angle, even though we were on a sloped fucking thing. So these speakers here, let me give you the honest opinion. These speakers should be $50. These speakers should be $50. For what they can do, for the features they have, which is literally none. The only feature these have is it takes two 3.5 millimeter ins, and supposedly that won't blow up either source or the speaker, because you're giving it multiple voltages, because you could have both. The end. That's the end. That is the end of the features. It is narrow and overpriced. And I'm not going to, if you have one already, if you've already got one in your home, look, it's fine. You, you throw away some money. You could have done way better. But I don't feel like vomiting when I hear them. I, like there are some speakers where I feel like vomiting when I hear them. So Bose is doing some things, probably some DSP correction in there to make it not make me want to puke. That's the best praise I've ever given a fucking Bose product on this channel because I haven't done many Bose. I have to really look, I don't remember. Bose, I've done the Bose headphones. So I guess that's Bose headphones. But Bose speakers? Have I done any other Bose speakers? No. Well, by the way, we're at we're at maximum volume on this, and if I turn up Fubar because I'm controlling it digitally, because I want a remote control to control the volume, that's as loud as I get. If you wanted to compare to um, the speakers are sitting on top of, that's what speakers are sitting on top of. Could you tell when I transitioned? Did you hear it? I don't know if it's actually how the GoPro is handling that because the GoPro will immediately compress any loud noises and then uncompress when it gets quiet. So it may have just been like, eh, this is the same. So that's, you know, these are $1,200 swans and these are $164 swans and still a top five speaker I've ever owned. And I'm not joking. Like you can look at these speakers, which I just did the review of, and I fucking love them and everything about them. And I want to touch them and I want to massage them. And are they a top five speaker? Sure. So the little fucking swans. Out of the box, play them, holy shit. Out of the box, play them. <sighs> well, they're bows. My biggest, my biggest problem, because this is, this is, fuck being a professional reviewer, giving a fair and balanced thing. Fuck that. Welcome to Z Reviews. This particular video, I am angry specifically at bows for ripping people off and taking quality away, because I had a set of these. Fuck you, I had a set of these. I had a set and I loved them. And I loved them because they were built nice and they had the front port and they had they had two wheels on the front, two. 
one on the volume and one for the mix between the uh, the aux and the PC. So it was the same design from like 2005, only they had a, a thing that you could have it so that if you had the PC on one and maybe an FM tuner or your phone or something plugged into the other one, you could mix between the two. And I don't think those speakers were even a hundred bucks. It was might've been like $80 back in the day. So now they've increased the price to match inflation. So they're the same price essentially as the old set. They've taken away that knob. They've decreased the build quality 60%. This is just shitty plastic or the, or the like you could even open the grill on the old ones. In fact, we'll take the grill off in case that's, I'm amazed that this isn't just glued on, honestly. Cause what, what, what is there to, to show you in there, boys and girls? Here, we'll pull these off. They become my favorite speaker of all time. Once I do this, they're going to transmorph. It's morphing time. Did I break them? I think they got way more trebly. They may be tuning them with the grills. Good evening, everyone. Oh, and shit. I mean, I know I'm up fucking loud, but I think they might actually, Bose might actually be tuning them with the grill. To a wonderful evening of theater and picking up after yourselves. They're not better with the grills off. They're worse with the grills off. Now it's all shrill. These things are just, they just, this is it. This is what they are. This. Do you want this? This is, this is what you're playing with. Or you can get this. I don't know. Take your fucking pick. I would love to have infinite power in the universe. And what I would do is I would have advertise, I'd have all the advertising for Bose switch over to a company that makes actually decent stuff for like a week. A week, a week worth of advertising. All the billboards in Times Square, all the magazines, all the fucking buses that drive by that say Bose, 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 would just say Swan or Klipsch. Klipsch at least has an advertising buzzer, but you don't see, you, I, all right, in the comments of this video, what audio brand do you see the most advertisements of and you know you're not gonna buy it? Because I feel like my audience here, we, we already know this. I'm not preaching to my audience. If you're already subscribed to this channel, you know you don't probably buy Bose except for maybe their noise canceling headphones. But what, what what's what's the next one? What, what's the next? Oh God, Inception. They're just, they're just, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Anyway, um, I guess I'm gonna sell these in the yard sale because I don't want them in the house. I, I wouldn't even use these like in the kitchen. Like they infuriate me. They're not good. $50, $50, $50. I'll give you both, I'll give you maybe 60, 50 on sale, 60 bucks. Going once, going twice, sold. To the poor kid who can't afford anything else. But if you're spending $150 on these, you're getting fucking ripped off. Other things exist. Granted, there's there's a lot of expensive shit in this space. 7,000, 4,000. I think those are 3,600. These are like 1,800, 2,000. Previously, eight, uh, these, these things, fuck it. No, 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 don't bother. These, these. The girls are in the way, but this is the other one with the controls on top. Just, just don't. Just all, all highs, all lows, must be Bose. My father used to sell audio equipment and that was a statement. In this case, all mids must be Bose. Of course, it can't have highs unless you take the covers off and it certainly doesn't have lows. I just, I wanted these to be okay. It'd be nice to like find a popular product and just like actually praise it a little bit. Like, you know what? Everyone's right. 16,000 people can't be wrong. 16,000 people is only the people who have reviewed it. That means they sold 160,000 of these. Maybe more. Maybe just in North America, 160,000. Because if that's if 10% of the people who buy it, give it a review on Amazon. How many times have you given reviews on Amazon? Fucking almost never. There could be a half a million of these out there in America. A half a million speakers that are just overpriced and lackluster and built. I, just not built. At least, have, is this even... This is paper. There's a paper surround on it. The surround itself, the driver is fine, but this is like a hard, dense 
bored? <sighs> I'm done. I would burn them, but I need to try to get some money back because I feel bad. I'm not, I can't return them to Amazon. It was months ago. I literally bought them, hooked them up upstairs, got immediately depressed, and then moved on with my life. So now I brought them out at like two in the fucking morning, and it's like, it's time to scream at you. Are they better than TV speakers? Yes. 100% better than TV speakers. But swans exist. And edifiers exist. And those dr new drop speakers exist. Literally everything exists. Don't buy these. Patreon subscribe star. If you want to pay for these ramblings. If you love these ramblings so fucking much, pay for them. And you know what I'll do? I'll put an advertisement in Times Square that says, don't buy bows. Think I'll get sued for that? I think I'll get sued for that. But fuck it. Then you pay me even more with subscribe star and I will hire a lawyer. And that's how the fucking world's going to go from now on. Anyway, Patreon subscribe star. See reviews early. Like this one. Participate in yard sales. For this shit, I'll cover with anime stickers. How's that? We'll see if we get the price of like 80 bucks. I'll just fucking plaster with anime stickers. Sound demos. Am I doing a fucking sound demo of these? Uh, they're private now. They're uh, not available on YouTube. You only have to get them on Patreon and subscribe star. I have a private Telegram channel just for, for sound demos where you could enjoy them and then I could switch the switch here and then we could these those these you know definitely leaving the covers on is a way to go but you know I'm I'm done I've I've said my piece I I I'm saddened by this inability to to keep up the what the fuck is going on here am I am I high are they, do they go like, th they go like, they go back. Oh, okay. That's weird. They're weird. They're weird. I'm done. I'm done. I'll see you all in the comments and, and on Patreon and those places. No, no, no.